picking up scalp uh, from a store called Yellow Submarine in Japan. And we also have, look at this, Root in Japanese. And the OG, also the Bergen Japanese too. All the angles have been from the Hello Wolf Pack, today I wanted to share with you a little journey that I took to Japan with Jackie. We went to a bunch of the board game stores there. Specifically, we went to Akihabara, which is like the anime district in Tokyo. And it was so much fun. We got to see so many cool anime related things. And of course, visit some board game stores. And they had all kinds of games. They had card games, medium to heavy games, campaign games. I even saw Wingspan there translated in Japanese, which I really, really wanted with all the expansions. That was freaking awesome to see along with Caverna and even some more like unique titles like Coffee Roasters, the Exit titles, and there's just a ton of variety of games there. I wanted to get Books of Time and World Wonders and La Granja. I think if I had to pick one game from that day, it definitely would have been La Granja if that managed to even fit in my luggage at all. Woodcraft has been on my list for quite some time and uh, it would have been such a hard choice for me to choose just one game. Maybe, maybe Woodcraft would have been in my suitcase if I could fit it in there. I wasn't too surprised to, of course, see the bigger titles like Villainous translated in Japanese as well. But it's also really nice to see some Kickstarter games and games that I absolutely love like Honey Buds. Like I showed you in the beginning, I managed to find Scout in multiple places and this has been sold out in all of the stores that I've been to, at least in the US, and I can't even find it online. Now the price for it is 27.50 yen, which translates to about 18 bucks in the US. Okay, honestly, just like look at the selection here. The Wolves, Tribes of the Wind, Bitoku, they've got some really big heavy hitters here and even Wandering Towers, which I covered earlier this summer too. So it's really fun to see some titles that I managed to do some filming on and of course, ones that I just absolutely love overall. Like the selection is probably bigger than the retail stores in Target and stuff. They have some very, very nice titles here. Even Marvel Zombies, Root, come on. Loki, I think I would have been able to fit 10 Penny Parks in my luggage too, but I actually kind of saved money for some anime statues, which I end up not getting at all anyway. They actually closed down the streets in Akihabara over the weekend because there's so many people traveling around and shopping in all these different places. Look at these giant titles too. Some people have even pre-purchased it. Tainted Grail up on the top right. And there's also Dominion. And on the bottom here is Eclipse going for 19,800 yen, which actually it sounds like a lot. I mean, it is, but it translates over to 130 US dollars. It just sounds like it's a lot more than that for sure. I've been dying to try Caverna. I know everyone's been telling me about it, especially since I voiced my, my fondness for Agricola. So I definitely want to try that title later on. Now, by the way, this is also in Yellow Submarine in a different part of Akihabara. There, like I said, it's a chain, so there's multiple versions of the store and they're also like inside some of the bigger department buildings. For all of you that watch One Piece, One Piece is in its peak right now so I had to visit the official Mugiwara store. We also visit a bunch of other anime stores too but this was definitely a huge highlight for me too. I wanted everything Gear 5 Luffy. I was really tempted to actually pick this one up because this like ghostly figure is pretty prominent in like Cambodian culture too and there's always like all these creepy scary stories about it. Look, even the brand new Agricola 15 edition, like they have so many updated titles, which is so nice to see. I was also surprised to see Everdell and one single copy of the base game plus every expansion only in one single shelf, which is pretty interesting. I thought it would be like multiple versions of it or like just multiple copies of it for you to pick up, but I was surprised that there's just one perfect line of those. Found some more scouts. I realized it was very readily available in multiple stores. And I've heard good things about this one called Durian, but I ended up getting only Scout. So that was my only purchase for the entire trip. I was able to win and a loss. Typically I buy much, much more, but I'm glad that I managed to somehow restrain myself from getting multiple games, but it's mostly because of the restriction of the luggage. Like my luggage was packed to the brim already as it is. I would even get some of these Japanese titles just so I can replace some of my US editions because they look so cool. I love the Japanese characters. Now, to be honest, my copy of Seasons is really old, like all the sides are all ripped up. So I definitely need to replace this soon, too. I have a love-hate relationship with Catan, like I'm sure many of you do. It's because, you know, Catan, as you know, it, it's the game that everyone knows and plays so much. I feel like I'm burnt out from Catan from like a decade ago. But to see it redone in a 3D version, ooh, that definitely makes me want to play it again. 
and Scythe. Oh my god, and the Japanese tile just looks so cinematic for some reason when it's like presented like this. I would love to replace my copy of Scythe with this one. Now they also had a side section with like different meeples and by the way that's Jackie's hand not mine just helped me film all this stuff. So they had little mini submarines and random characters and everything lots of different colors and dice sets. And as a side note the TCG scene is so freaking huge here. They have walls upon walls literally huge sections of individual cards displayed Yu-Gi-Oh magic you name it they probably have it. But yeah, that's our little board game trip to Japan. Just a small section of it. I'm going to end it with some photos of some landscapes that I took as well. And hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you made it here to the very, very end, comment Japan for a place that is very near and dear to my heart. I absolutely love, love traveling to Japan. It's one of my favorite places to visit. And I can't wait to go back. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.